blessings of the Lord at all times. Amen. All right, so we have a, a word that uh, the Lord gave us. Uh, we minister on it, uh, and that's what we're going to try to teach on today. It's uh, entitled, The Stick Was a Snake. Amen. Uh, the stick, the stick was a snake. Amen. Uh, the reason we're doing this now is because uh, the word of God declares that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. All right. So we'll be coming. Uh, it is base text. It's Acts chapter 28. Amen. Acts chapter 28. And we'll be looking at uh, verses 1 to 6. Amen. Acts chapter 28. Amen. Verses 1 to 6. Amen. Okay. Uh, let's read. Well, first of all, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we just thank you for your for this time in your presence. Daddy, we thank you for your word. Lord, you said that we should learn of you, uh, that you are meek and lowly of heart. And so, Father, we come that you, Lord, will teach us on how to be meek and lowly of heart. Father, uh, we hide ourselves under the blood of Jesus, Lord. We say, let no flesh glory in your presence, Lord. And we just bless you that you alone are God and God all by yourself. Thank you, Lord, for each and every one that is under the sound of our voice, even the ones that are watching uh, via the Internet and the ones that will be watching later. Bless us all now, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray in the hands of God. Say, thank God. Amen. So Acts chapter uh, chapter 28, and I'm reading from the King, the New King James Version. Amen. I'm reading from the New King James Version. And uh, Dr. Luke will write saying, Now when they had escaped, they then found out that the island was called Meta. And the natives showed us unusual kindness. But they kindled a fire. They kindled a fire and made us all welcome because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper a viper, uh, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. So when the natives saw the creature hanging uh, from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom thou, though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow to live. But he shook off the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. However, they were expecting that, that he would swell, would swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But after they had looked for a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Amen? Amen, amen. The stick was a snake. Amen. Yeah, amen. To understand where we are, let's go back and get a little background. So let's go to go over one chapter to go over to chapter 27. And let's look at verse 20. Amen. And that will give us uh, some background. Amen. Verse 20 says, Now, when neither sun nor stars were appear for many days, and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we would be saved was finally given 
Oh. Amen. Amen. After, but after long abstinence uh, from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life amongst you, but only of the ship. For, the, for there stood by me this night an angel of God to whom I belong and whom I serve. Saying, do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar. And indeed, God has granted me all those who sail with me. And therefore, take heart, men, for I believe, God, that it will be just as it was told me. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Amen? Okay, so let's go back a little. Let's give you a little background. All right? St. Paul had gone in front of tri for trial. Paul, who's the apostle to the Gentiles. Amen? Amen. Had, had had trial and uh, was about to be free. Amen. He was going to be free. But then he uh, uh, was told that was going to free him as because he was also he was a Hebrew Benjamin tribe, right? But he was a Roman citizen as well. Amen. So it's like you were born in Trenton, New Jersey, right? Uh, amen. Or you were born, uh, let's say it this way, let's say it this way. You were born in, uh, you were born in, what's the place name? You were born in Hawaii. Amen. amen. You are born in Hawaii, but you are what? A U.S. citizen. Amen. So Paul, though he was born in Israel, right, and of the tribe of Benjamin, amen, direct line, amen, Hebrews of the Hebrews, if you look at his description in Philippians, amen, Hebrews of the Hebrews, right, he was uh, 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 also a Roman citizen. Uh, there was a time that he was out and uh, doing ministry, and he got beaten. Uh, there wasn't given him any trial. Amen. Amen. And then at the morning, they told him that he can go. Amen. He was free to leave. And then he said, but how can you beat me? In the fact, I'm a Roman citizen. You didn't give me any trial. And they got afraid and told him to leave. And he said, no, no, no. You're not going to let me leave in the night so you can sneak behind me and kill me. So you let me go the same way everybody saw you arrest me. It's the same way you're going to release me so everybody can see you releasing me. Amen. So now when he's now this other trial that he's in front of, right? He's in front of a Hebrew uh, magistrate. Let's just use the word magistrate, right? Someone who is of, of, uh, of Israel, who is just of the tribe that's Sendinian, right? And there, the man is about to release him. Amen? Amen. But God tells him that Paul, you will go to Rome, to Caesar, where you will testify for me before Caesar. Amen. So Paul now goes back to the judge, and the judge says, I'm about to release you. Then Paul said, I'm a Roman citizen. And as a Roman citizen, I request an ordinance before Caesar. Amen? Because God has told him now, that you're going to go to Caesar, go to Rome, and to testify of me. 
Amen. Amen. He's also excited about that joining. And part of the reason he's excited, if you read Romans, he tells the Romans that I'm writing to you, writing to the church of Rome, right? The Romans, right? He tells them, I, I wish that I was there with you to encourage you and to, 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 to impact spiritual gifts into you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's why he wanted to go there. Amen. But now, so he said, I long, so the opportunity now presents itself for him to go to Rome as a witness for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, they gave him over to the, uh, 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 this, they gave him over to be carried. Uh, look at this. Let's go to verse uh, Acts 27. Uh, I think it is the, there is a place there where to talk about, all right, look right here, Acts, I mean, Acts chapter 27 verse 1, amen? amen, 27 verse 1 said, and when it was decided that he should sail to Italy, they deliver Paul and some other prisoners to one Named Judas, all right, Julius, a Julius, amen, not Judas, a centurion of the Augustine regiment, all right. That is a religious group of that they turn him over to. Okay, they turn him over to the centurion is a group of one hundred, amen. I think one hundred soldiers. Okay. And so they turned him over to the chief of them. Now, all of them was of the Augustine regiment, which means they were trained because August, got this thing, Caesar's Augusta, had a religion that it was one thing that was supposed to use to kind of unite the, the, uh, the Roman Empire, okay? When they came in, they practiced what you call tolerance, what we call tolerance today, they were like the first to do it. So when they come in and conquer your place, whatever religious system you had, they never took it away from you. Amen. They allow you to practice your religion, whatever religion you had. Amen. But then somewhere along the line, a group of them came to Augustine, Jesus Augusta, and told him that, hey, you know what? You should put, you should, you were God. And let them worship you and have a way. So they, were, they had a religion, just like Christianity, Christian, they had Augustine. Amen. So they were all part of it. And these people, every time there would be a set time in the year or in the month that they all had to, regardless of what your religious practice was, you had to practice, or you had to pray to Augustine, to, to Caesar Augustine. Okay. So this group of men, these people were people that was trained in my research now. This regiment was group of Levites. There were people who served in the temple, in the Jewish Hallelujah. temple, okay, that did sweeping, did the basic work in the temple. They were trained and now they were being sent to Rome to work in Augustine's temple. Amen. Amen. So these are a group of so-called religious people who are traveling and so they turn Paul over to them. Amen. 